Hello, welcome back. In today's class, let us solve half yearly practice question paper. First question, write the face value and place value of the following color digits. Here, 7 is in color digit and what is the place value? First face value of 7? Yes, face value of 7 is 7 itself and the place value of 7 is 7,000 as it is in thousands place the place value of 7 is 7000 next the second number 4 lakh 90820 8 is in red color so the face value of 8 is 8 itself and the place value of 8 is 800 so place value will be 800 second question write the successors and predecessors of the following here the number is 34,110. So, when you subtract one number from this given number, you will get the before number that is 34,000 instead of 110. What is the before number of 110? 109. So, the predecessor of 34,110 is 34,109. Yes. And the successor means when you add one number to the given number, you will get its successor, right? So, successor is also nothing but after number. After number of 34,110 is 34,111. Next, what is the predecessor of 19,999? 19,998. And the successor? 20,000. Next question. Arrange the given numbers in ascending order. Ascending order means smallest to greatest. Now, in this given numbers, all the numbers are of 8 digits only. So, what do we need to do? We need to start comparing from the leftmost side, from the highest value digit. In all the numbers, 1 is at highest value. 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh, right? So, next number. Look here. In thousands place, what, are, what is the number? 98, 97, 98 and 99. Which is the smallest? 97. So, we got the smallest number that is 1,97,150. Yes, next smaller number is 98, 98, 99. 99, 8 is lesser than 99. So, we have to compare between the first number and the Third number here, 98, 98 is same. So, we will move to the next value that is hundreds value. What is the number in hundreds value? In hundreds value, in the first number it is 3 and in the third number it is 1. So, 1 is lesser than 3. So, it will be 1,98,112 will be the second smaller number. Next smaller number we know that is 1,98,326 and the last and the greatest number is 1,99,200, right? Next, round the given numbers to the nearest 100. Whenever you have to round off the numbers to its nearest 100, you will have to look at the tens place. If the value in tens place is 5 or greater than 5, you will round up to next 100 or else you will round down to the previous 100. Here 919 lies between 900 and 1000. As the value at tens place is 1, we will round down to 900 itself. So, nearest 100 is 900. Got the second number 9256. In this number, we will look at 256 as we are rounding off to nearest 100. Here also in tens place it is 5. So, 256, 9256 lies between 9200 and 9300. As the value at tens place is 5, we will round up to 9300. If it was less than 5, if, if it was 4 also, we would have rounded down to 9200. Next, make the largest and smallest numbers using all digit once. So, here to make the largest number, what do we need to do? Largest number, smallest number. We will ha we'll have to arrange the numbers from greatest to smallest. So, 
among the given digits which is which is the greatest digit that is 8 so first write 8 then is 5 then 3 then 2 1 and the smallest is 0 but when you are writing the small smallest number you cannot write the smallest digit as 0 because 0 before a number will not have its value so you will have to write in the second place only in the first place so when we are writing the smallest number we'll arrange the numbers from smallest to greatest so first number will write as 1 and then write 0 at the second place then next smaller number is 2 next smaller number is 3 next is 5 and the greatest and the last number is 8 So here, the largest number is eight lakh fifty three thousand two hundred and ten, and smallest number is one lakh two thousand three hundred and fifty eight. For this also same, we'll have to arrange from greatest to smallest. That is nine, six, seven, six, five, four, and one. So the number is. Seven lakh nine lakh seventy six thousand five hundred and forty one. Smallest number is opposite of it. We have to arrange the numbers from smallest to greatest. So one four five six seven nine. So it will be one lakh forty five thousand six hundred and seventy nine is the smallest number. Next, find the difference of. Two lakh thirty-two thousand one hundred and fifty-one and one lakh seventy-nine thousand three hundred and ninety-nine. Here we will write the greater number at first. Below that we will write the smaller number. Correct? Difference means you have to take away a number. To take away a number, you can't take away bigger number from smaller number. You have to write the bigger number at first. From that you can take away the smaller number. So we will write the numbers one below the other. One lakh seventy nine thousand three hundred ninety nine difference. So we'll have to write subtraction sign here. First, we have to subtract the numbers which are in ones column, right? Then we'll move to tens column. Then we'll move to hundreds column, and followed by thousands and ten thousands. Lastly, lakhs. And we'll borrow from the next left hand digit whenever it is required, right? So here from one we cannot take away nine, so we'll borrow from five. Five becomes four, and one becomes eleven. Eleven minus nine will be two. From four again we cannot take away nine, so we borrow here. One becomes zero, and four becomes fourteen. Fourteen minus nine is five. Again from zero we cannot take away three, so we'll borrow. Two becomes one, and zero becomes ten. Ten minus three will be seven. Again, from one we cannot take away nine, so again we borrow here. Two become three becomes two, and one becomes eleven. Eleven minus nine will be two. Again, from two we'll not be able to take away seven, so we'll borrow from two. Two becomes one, and two becomes twelve. Twelve minus seven is five, and one minus one is. Zero. So the difference of two lakh thirty-two thousand one hundred and fifty-one and seventeen one lakh seventy-nine thousand three hundred and ninety-nine is fifty-two thousand seven hundred and fifty-two. Here is the next question. A town A has a population of ninety-six thousand three hundred and forty-nine people. Out of these twenty thousand one hundred and twelve drink tea. And thirty-two thousand nine hundred and seven drink coffee, while rest of them drink neither tea or coffee. How many people drink? None of this. We'll have to find out. So, here first we'll have to add number of tea drinkers and coffee drinkers to find out how many people drink tea and coffee. First, tea drinkers. Equals how many? Twenty thousand one hundred and twelve. And coffee drinkers equals thirty-two thousand 
907 will have to add both the numbers. So, 7 plus 2 will be 9, 1 plus 0, 1, 9 plus 1, 10, 0, 1 carry, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5. So, 53,019 people drink tea or coffee. So, we, here we can say total of tea and coffee drinkers. Now, we will have to find out how many of them will neither drink tea or coffee. So, what is the total population? Total population is total population is 96,349 out of these people people who drink coffee or tea are 53,019 which we have to take away. Take away these peoples. Then only we will be able to find out how many people will neither drink coffee nor tea. So take away these many numbers. 9 minus 9, 0. 4 minus 1, 3. 3 minus 0, 3. 6 minus 3, 3. 9 minus 5, 4. So 43,330 people will neither drink coffee nor tea. So students, I hope the video was useful. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting.